let's give it a go let's start right everybody let's come and stand up all right so stand up um right so gratitude through motion this is where we are going to listen to our body and explore and just be vulnerable and see what it takes us to so i want you to start in a standing position in a parallel feet meaning that your toes are going to be pointing forward right and your heels is aligned to your center of your hips so a little chopstick here a parallel position down and forward with the toes now i like you to just stand stand tall and just look down at your feet here you know we never really look down on our feet. So today is the moment we're going to look down on our feet. So I want you to look at your toes and see if you can spread your toes like as though they have roots and the roots are going to seep through the ground and it's going to really anchor you down to the floor. Just almost sinking you like a quicksand here. But at the same time, once you have those toes spread out to the floor, but at the same time, you have a uplift, a lifting energy through the arch of your feet. So find your arch of your feet. You have a root of your toes down to the floor, but you have an arch lifting up off the floor. So it stops you from actually sinking. Right, the arch may wants to create a little floating sensation through off the ground and you're going to let that energy, the upward energy rising up from your arch of the feet, through your ankles, to the bones of your calf bones and your thigh bone, your femur and rising all the way up to your pelvis and giving a sense of energy, lifting floating, pulling upward through the pelvis. And the energy continues to your spinal column. And it energizes the spinal column to create more space between each vertebra segment that it allows you to grow tall and taller and taller, almost to the point that you may levitate. I know we're not going to levitate, we're not magician, but maybe one of us can't. So we'll levitate off the ground, yet grounding through the toes. And with that sensation, it allows the head to float away. You can actually place your hands on your, your head if you like to. Plus, lengthening the head away, floating the head away, it's almost like the head can float off into space. And... The arms, are guys, uh, the arms are just going to dangle down to the floor with opposite energy here. But I like you to have this nice tall sensory through the body and grounding through the feet here. And I want you to close your eyes for a moment and just listen to my words. Now I want you to bring your weight towards the front of your feet and just observe what happens to the body. And then bring the weight to the back of your feet, heavy on the heels without falling off, obviously. And forward to the front of the body. So you're just rocking yourself forward and back here. And then back to the heels. And observe which direction is more comfortable and which direction is a bit more challenging. And are you rippling your body like a wave as you move your body, as you transfer your weight forward or backward? Or are you keeping the whole alignment upright and long and transferring to one segment? So as we lean forward and then we lean back, observe. You can use your breath as you inhale forward and then exhale back. And I want you to do one more forward lean and backward lean and come back to where you feel and you think is your center and hold that placement and i want you to sway your weight to your right so heavy on the outside of the right foot and back to your center and over to your left and heavy on the left side the outside of the left foot and back to center and continue that motion how far can you go? 
And how far, how quickly can you bring yourself back to center? And again, observe, are we rippling? Are we breaking that spine? Are we moving the whole body as one segment? Observed, listen, tune into yourself. And just feeling the weight distribution on your feet as you rock sideways and sideways. And let's do one more time here over to your right and over to the left. And come back to where you think is your center. So 50% balance left and right. And come back to that center. Now I want you to go a little funky way here. We're gonna go forward. And then transfer your weight to your right. And then transfer your weight to the back. And over to the left. And again forward. And over. So continue the motion of going forward. And to the right. To the back. And to the left. Circling yourself around your feet, keeping that nice tall lengthening through the spine, yet a grounded feeling. And then let's bring ourselves back to your center. And then we're gonna explore the other way. We go forward and over to your left and to the back and to the right and forward. And again, continue that motion, rocking away, really feeling what's happening with your feet and what, and the energy transfer around your feet as you travel up to the spine. And let's do one more time here. And we bring ourselves back to the center. And hopefully we found exactly where our center of gravity here. Brilliant. And then let's open our eyes here. We're gonna inhale, let's take your arms up to the sky, everybody, using the breath. And then exhale, I want you to just press your arms on a little knee bend here, a little knee bend. Again, inhale as we rise the arms up, using our breath to really create more space in between our rib cage, our intercostal muscles, and exhale. Go with the gravity. We're gonna sink down a little bit more. Let's go two more. Inhale, we lengthen and lift up. Brilliant, everybody. And then exhale as we kind of compress the air down. Bring ourselves together with the gravity. And the last one, inhale, we're gonna lift up, lift up, lift up. And then exhale, we're gonna press it down. And then here, keep your arms down by the side and just straighten the legs. Bring your hands on the lower end of the rib cage and onto around your belly here. Let's breathe everybody. Diaphragmatic breathing as we inhale. I want you to feel the expansion of the rib cage into your hands and the belly into our hands. And then as we exhale, feeling the abdominal, the belly pulling away from your hands, deflating and the rib cage deflating. Again, we in breath, exploring on the expansion of the ribcage and the belly. This is a belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. And the exhale as they pull away from your hands. In breath. Then observe. How much are you inhaling? And how long can you exhale? Relaunch the diaphragm to expand and deflate. One more. Now here, as you exhale, I want you to Deliberately draw in your tibia muscles. Really breathe out all the air as you can, as much as you can. Now hold that tibia muscles. Bring your hands on the side of the rib cage. Moving on to our lateral breathing here. So as we inhale, ideally we want to keep that tibia, the corset muscle, nice and tight, and expand the rib cage out. 
this is staying still and as we exhale the rib cage deflate and an inhale keeping in mind that our corset our natural corset is still intact exploring on the rib cage expansion and an exhale exploring on the deflation of the rib cage maybe perhaps drawing the abdominal a little tighter here again in breath how wide can we make our rib cage how much can we expand our intercostal exhale closing two more in breath expand 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 exhale deflate 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 one more in breath and exhale and let it go everybody well done i'm going to rise up again the arms up to the sky really feeling the intercostal muscle stretching out and an exhale bring it down just observe the difference that you just did in the upward reach of the arms can we really stretch out as much as we can here and an exhale inhale incorporate that lateral breathing as we take the arms up and exhale one more in breath and exhale now just the right arm here inhale right arm comes up and take yourself over to a lateral stretch opening the rib cage giving more space in the rib cage and then bring it down as we exhale and over to the other arm lifting up in breath stretching out stretching long take it away over to lateral stretch and exhale bring it back one more inhale this lateral stretch is going to allow your rib cage to expand more creating more space around the rib cage exhale one more and inhale lengthen expand and reach over and exhale come back down and i want you to soften your knees here so it's a little knee bend placing your right to your left arm in front of your belly and the back arm with the palms facing back now soften the knee keeping the pelvis nice and stable we're going to rotate over towards your right now allow the arm to brush across the body as you take yourself to a more rotation and then come back same direction we got opposite so we're going to i've got my you should have your left arms so going to rotate to your right side brushing the arm across and come back and again brushing the arm across keeping the pelvis stable and just see can you rotate more with the guidance of your arm and come back and two more we rotate as the arm brushes across the belly and the back and come back last one and we rotate brushing the arm rotate further and then come back and then switch your arm left right arm in front left arm behind and we rotate as we brush the arm across towards the left and allowing that motion to guide you to more rotation and come back in again we rotate use your breath in breath and then come back in again rotate brushing the arms guiding the twist guiding the spinal rotation and come back in one more and we rotate and come back in lengthen the arms let the arms go reach the legs long take an in breath exhale as we roll the spine down we allow the spine to articulate down towards the floor and softening through the knee as you take yourself a little bit closer to the floor here and then from here lift the spine lengthen the back bend the knees go into a little half squat with your back nice and flat and then we're going to draw the head down drop the body and we're going to roll the spine back up 
all the way to standing nice and tall and again exhale as we roll the spine down we breathe out we're articulating we keep the arms nice and easy take yourself all the way down and use your breath as you inhale reach forward and long your tailbone is sitting bone and reaching away from your hands in opposite direction and then as you exhale deflate the belly draw the head down and use your breath to take yourself all the way up and then we inhale to lengthen and grow tall again exhale we roll down one more time here everybody take yourself down take yourself down take yourself down inhale we reach out lengthening up lengthening tall lengthening tall brilliant exhale drop it down and roll yourself all the way up to standing and grow tall come to the front of your mat everybody we're going to transition ourselves towards the floor Again, feet are parallel position, we in breath, we exhale, we roll the spine down, articulating the spine, stable feet, take us up all the way down, reach the floor, bend the knees, and then go into a deeper squat, take your hands behind you, and then place your pelvis down, and just readjust your legs so that your feet are hip width apart, parallel position, Okay, I'm going to move myself here so you can see what's happening here. Now, sitting nice and tall, place your hands on the outside of your thigh, closer to the knee side here. All right, now I want you to hear a little gentle press of your hands against the thighs, almost like you want to squeeze the thighs together, but we want to maintain that parallel position. So you find that you're activating the lateral, the side of the rib cage, your lats muscle and the upper abdominal muscles and the middle back. Now from here, open the knees, resist. And exhale, press the hands against the thigh and bring yourself to a parallel position. We inhale, resist outward. So we don't want to drop. We're going to resist as you open. Exhale, press in and resist with the leg as you bring your leg to a parallel position. So I want you to feel your lat muscles and the upper oblique and your mid-back muscle to work to bring the legs in. Two more. Inhale, we open, resist. And then exhale, we close and stay tall. Last one, inhale, and then exhale, we press, squeezing, 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 hold that, and hold that squeezing sensation through the arms and the side of the body. Take an in breath, exhale, we round the back, and then we roll ourselves down, curling the sacrum down just to where you can straighten the arms, in breath. Exhale, go into a deep curl as you bring your body forward and lift the spine, open the legs, resist the leg from flopping out and close the legs. Your inner thighs should be working. That's it. And then we exhale, we round the spine and the side of your body should be working, pressing the arms towards the thighs, rolling the spine, go into that C curve, we in breath. Exhale, if we deepen up the abdominal, we bring our body over into that C curve. And then we lift the spine tall, we open the thigh, resist the leg from flopping out. Last one, we press in. And rounding the back, we roll back. Roll back. Keep the arm pressing against the thighs. Roll back until the arms are straight. We bring the feet in. One, two. You can grab the back of your thigh and bring yourself all the way down to the floor. Arms long by the side and release the head down. Just readjust the feet position so you are good for your pelvic curl. From here, again, root your feet down and lift the arch of your feet up to your legs. The arms are reaching to your feet here. Take an in-breath. As we exhale, the abdominal deflates so you can imprint that lower back down to the floor, curling your bottom up, rocking, and then continue that curl all the way up till you find your bridge position here. We're gonna take time here. We know we've been doing pelvic curl for, I don't know how many classes, all the classes in fact, but I want you to just take your time to really think 
the meaning of your pelvic curl here. So once you're at the bridge position here, are your arms reaching to your feet? Are your neck, or is your neck reaching away from the shoulders? Are your toes spreading down to the floor? Are the, are the feet in parallel position? Now the arch of your feet lifting up through your legs. And now I want you to really press the pelvis high. And the energy of your thighs are towards your knees and your toes. The energy of your abdominal is from the pelvic floor down to your heart. Take an in breath. As we exhale, a sense of deflation down through your body as you roll the rib cage. Use your breath, you roll to the lower rib cage, you roll to the middle back, you roll the lower back, and then you bring yourself back to your sacrum and to your start position with inhale again. We exhale, we deflate, Nice and easy, imprint in the lower back. As the bottom comes off, the hamstring kicks on and helps you to articulate. Bring the thigh to your feet, thigh to your knees. Raise your arms to your feet, but pull the abdominal away from your pelvis to your heart. Press the arms, lift the notch higher. You should feel those hamstring smiling at you. And your inner thighs are working because you're pressing your big toes down. In breath. As we exhale, we release the spine from the top, the middle back, the lower back, and then the sacrum releases back to the floor. Again, one more time, we exhale. We roll up, articulating, articulating one vertebra and moment at a time. Make this movement meaningful for your body. Make this movement nourishing to your body reaching the thigh to your knee, reaching your feet away from your thigh. Arms are reaching to your feet as if you want to grab those feet with your hands. The neck is floating away from your shoulder in breath. Exhale, we roll down. We imprint every single vertebra down to the floor and we release the pelvis back to the floor. Now we're going to stretch the leg away, sorry, to stretch the leg away from me on the floor dorsiflex the foot and take the same arm up overhead that's it now i want you to reach the heel and the arms away as we inhale now as you inhale with lateral breathing your abdominal is in but the rib cage expands sideways and as you exhale recover bring them back same side same leg, same arm. We inhale, reach out, lengthen away. Exhale, we move from the hip joint as we glide the leg back in. We move from the shoulder as we bring the arm back down. Two more. Inhale, we reach away, reach away, reach away. Without disturbing your lower spine and your pelvis, hopefully. Exhale. From the hip joint, we glide and move the arms back from the shoulder. One more time, please. Inhale, we reach up, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, we come back. And we're going to switch side here and dorsiflex the foot and reach the arm and the leg away as we inhale. Lengthening our career space. And exhale, bring back. And an inhale from the hip joint, we glide the leg away. From the shoulder joint, we'll reach the arm overhead and we hopefully maintain the placement of the body here. And an exhale, come back. Again, in breath, we reach, lengthen, we reach out. Gorgeous, everybody. Exhale, as we fold the hip joint, we move the leg in and the arms come down. One more time, please. We inhale, we reach out. Holding strong to your center. Exhale. We come back. We come back. We come back. We take the arms, circle the arms. We take our hands behind your head here. The elbows float off this from the floor. Now like a hammock, I want you to support your head here into our chest lift, we in breath. Now as we exhale, it's literally a fold on the lower rib cage. We deflate the abdominal, we fold the upper chest from the lower rib cage, and we really support our head and our neck with the arms here. 
We inhale, reach the arms high, use your breath. You're going to get up higher. And exhale, bring the arm back and release yourself down. And exhale, fall up. Inhale, expand the rib cage so you can come up. Arms back as you exhale and return down to the floor. Again, exhale, abdominal deflate and the ribs fold up. And the arms reach forward as you inhale, use your breath and back behind your head. And come on down. Last one, please. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, reaching out, reaching out, reaching, reaching more. And exhale. And we come back. And next one, we fold up again. We exhale, we lift. Now inhale, reach your arms forward in front of you, palms facing each other, pressing, reaching out, rotate to me as we twist. In breath, come back. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Inhale, come back. Remember the arm brushing movement that you had before while you're standing. Can we feel the arm? Or can we imagine that you have your arms brushing across the center to help you rotate as we exhale? Inhale, come back. The pelvis is stable. Exhale, we rotate. Inhale, come back. Exhale, we rotate. Inhale, come to center. The feet are anchoring down to the floor. And the legs are still nice and active. Again, one more shot. Exhale. Inhale, come back. And the last one to the other side. Exhale. Inhale, come back. We stay. Arms long by the side. Lift up a little higher. And open the arms to a T and lower the chest down. Have your feet a little bit wider than your pelvis, so walk your feet out. Moving on to our hip roll, we want to drop the leg towards me here. Now, bring the arm down, and we're going to rotate the arm across and bring it overhead and return back to your start position and unravel your leg back to the center. Drop your leg over towards you. And then the arm will follow through across to you. Exactly. Bring it over the head and bring the arms back to the T position. Unravel your body back to your center position. Let's do one more each side. Drop the knee to the side. And using your breath as your arm move across and overhead, over to the side and unravel your body back to your start position. And over to the other side as we in-breath. And an arm follow through. And just allow the body to do what it wants to do. No restriction. Rotate back and come back to center. And walk your feet back to the center. We float the leg up one as we breathe out, drawing the corset muscle. Second leg up as we draw the corset a little deeper and bring the second leg up. Making sure that your shins are parallel to the ground so you can place a tray of coffee on it. Spine twist, supine over to me, please. As we inhale, we rotate from the waist. As we exhale, we recover ourselves back to your center. As we inhale, we keep the shoulders down and we rotate the pelvis over. As we exhale, we come back. And as we inhale, we rotate to me. As we exhale, the waist comes in, the pelvis comes back, then the thighs comes in too. And inhale over to you. And then as we exhale again, come back. Waist, pelvis, legs. Now we stay. Float your arms off the floor so you don't have the arms as a little balance point. You only have your shoulder. Let's continue over to me as we inhale. You may not go as far as you did before, and exhale, but you have to control the movement even more. And an inhale over to you as we in breath. How far can you go? Exhale. The intention here is to move that rotation from the waistline. And keeping the shoulders anchor as we in breath, we rotate. Exhale, come back. One more each side. We in breath, rotate. 
Exhale, come back. Last one, in breath, rotate. Exhale, come back, come back. Brilliant, now let's float the arms overhead. Take an in breath to the hundreds prep. We exhale, arms come up, we flex the chest up. We bring our arms to the side of your pelvis. We reach the arms up, we're gonna reach up to the sky. We're gonna lift the chest a little higher and then return back down. Give me two more of that, please. The arms float, the head lift, the chest lift, the arms reaches forward. Now, don't drop the chest yet. We're gonna inhale, can we create more space? Off the floor, up to the sky, and return back. Again, the arms float. Then we press the arms, we curl forward, we lift, we lift, we lift, we lift more. We inhale, we lift the arms, reach up, and come back down. Last one, we lift the arms, we press and curl, curl, curl. Then we lift the arms up tall, and we return. Moving to a hundreds, please. So we're gonna lift the arms again. We're gonna curl up and keep the legs in tabletop here for me. Just a tabletop for now. We take a knee in breath, can we lift the chest higher? And then we exhale, we press the arms down. Shh, 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 shh. And inhale, can we lift the chest a little higher? And exhale, shh, deflating the belly in. Shh, shh, shh. And inhale, we reach, reach, reach. Now extend just the right leg up as you in. As you palm, just the right leg, and in breath, lift, 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 and exhale, shh, 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 and inhale, lift up higher, higher. Now, switch the leg, we exhale, shh, 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 and lift, 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 we exhale, shh, 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 and lift, 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 double legs up, exhale, shh, shh, and now can we lower the legs a little bit more? As we exhale, we'll lift the chest a little higher, so counterbalance it. And in last set, exhale. And in, lift, two, three, four, hold. Drag the knees in, resist the leg, drag it in, drag it in, drag it in. Lower one foot down. Lower second leg down. Lower the head and the chest down. And take your arms up overhead, palms facing each other, please. Now I want you to walk your feet away from your bottom a little bit more so the knee bend is a little bit greater. All right, moving to our roll up here. So a little modified to start with. So we take the arms up, palms facing each other. And then we lift the head and the chest up, arms by the side here. Now I want you to deliberately curl the pelvis and then lift the trunk in that C curve from the hip joint, bringing your body over into that C curve. Thank you. We're in breath. Can we find a bit more space between the vertebrae? Can we grow taller but yet honoring your C curve? And then from there, from the hip joint, we move the pelvis back to the floor, lower spine, to the floor. Once we got to the chest lift position, the arms float up and the head returns back. Give me two more of that, please, everybody. Inhale, the arms come up. And then flexes the chest forward, like a chest lift here. Then deliberately pull the belly in, the pelvis kind of rocking here, and then bring the pelvis, the body up, not the pelvis, in that C curve position. We inhale, lengthen the spine, grow tall, and honor the C curve. Then we roll back from the hip joint, we bring the pelvis back, the lower back, and then we come back to a chest lift, the arms float, the head, and the arms return. One more time, please. We take the arms up. We lift up and up forward, curling the pelvis just a tiny bit, and then we honor the C curve, bring the body up from the hip joint into the seeker, into the seeker, into the seeker, gorgeous. And now bend the knees, grab the chin above the ankle, point to the feet. Now here, we're gonna do rolling like a ball, but we're gonna do it in little stages here. So the toes are still rough, the toes are still on the floor, right? Using the arms power to maintain the curve here. I want you to rock the pelvis back, just slightly back, and then just bring it back 
to your tailbone. Again, rock the pelvis back, so the motion of rolling, and then bring it back over. So we're rocking, you kind of gliding over the sacrum, and then bring it back. One more. We glide over the sacrum as we roll back, and then we bring it back to the balance point. Then we float the feet off. Your feet are off the ground now here. Now, do the same thing here without rolling back. So we're gonna curl back, just curling, 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 test that balance, and then bring yourself over. So really minute movement here. We curl back through the sacrum, and then we curl back to that balance point. We're testing that lower abdominal to keep you in balance and bring it over. One more. We curl back, curling, curling, curling. That's it. And then we curl forward. We're going to hold everything. We're going to roll. So we're going to go through the motion of that curling as we roll back to the shoulder. And then we roll through the spine back to your balance. Keeping the arms, locking the legs in. We curl back and we roll. And then bring it over and balance, feet off. That's it, and we go roll back. Can we find a little bit more peace internally as we roll back and forward here? Maybe the shoulder needs to come down a little bit more and then exhale, come back. Maybe the arm needs to work a little bit more to guard the legs and two more. Just find that little extra help to make this movement nice and smooth and beautiful. Last one. And then we bring yourself up over, balance, balance, and release the feet down. Awesome. All right, stretch the legs forward. Heel slightly apart from your shoulder. Now I want you to place your hands in the back of your body, your pelvis and the lumbar spine here. Okay, so sitting nice and tall, opening through the chest, dorsiflex the feet here. Now I want you to like we're gonna do spine stretch here. Take an in-breath. Now as we exhale, we roll the spine down. I want you to feel the spine is pulling away from the arms. As we roll forward, we inhale, bring the pelvis a little bit more forward, so we hinge more at the hip joint. Now as we exhale here, use the lower abdominal to imprint that spine back to your hands. Sacrum, lower back, and then unravel the rest of the spine up. We in breath, we exhale, we roll the spine away from your arms. And then inhale, bring the pelvis forward a little bit more here. Then as we exhale, we imprint the pelvis back to your hands, to the lower back, back to your hands, middle back, upright, upper back, and everything nice and tall. Again, one more time, exhale, we roll down and we peel the spine away from your hands as we go forward, 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 in breath. Exhale, as we roll back, we bring that pelvis to your hands and unravel everything up. Take the arms forward here. So imagine you have your hands behind your back. We exhale, we roll the spine forward. We pull the belly into the spine and we bring the spine away from that imaginary hand behind you. We in breath. And then exhale, imprint that sacrum back to the imaginary hands, lower back, middle back, upper back, and we grow tall. One more. Exhale, we roll down. We go forward, more forward, and we reach out in breath. And exhale, we roll back up, up, and we lift up tall. We interlace the hands behind your head. We bring the legs into a diamond position here, into a lateral flexion. Let's rotate to, sorry, let's flex to me as we in breath. So I got my left, my right knee to my right hand, my right elbow to my right knee. Can I rephrase that? And then come back to center. And then left elbow to the left knee, and then come back to center here. I want you to, as you do that flexion, think about opening the top rib cage, create more space in between the rib cage as you go into the side flexion. And then I want you to bring your rib cage back 
to your start position. Again, explore the opening of the rib cage as you go into the side flexion as you in breath. Exhale, come back to center. Again, we inhale, reach up, open, and explore the opening. Exhale, come back to center. Again, inhale, rib cage opens, 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 and exhale, grow tall as we come back. One more set, inhale, lateral bend, exhale, upright. Last one, inhale, lateral flex, exhale, come back, and center. Cross your leg in front of you, place your hands on the mat, get yourself onto a quadruped position here. Thank you. Take an in-breath, align your shoulders and your wrists. Now as we exhale, I want you to draw in your natural corset, your TVM muscle, into the spine here. That's it. And then release back again. Two more like that. Exhale, we're going to honor your natural curve, but we're gonna really wrap that corset muscle to support your back and release. One more. Exhale, drawing that corset muscle and stay. Extend the leg away from me to the back and tuck your toes under, hopefully without too much of a shift here. Now tuck the toes under, I want you to really curl the pelvis a little bit so you can get the lower abs to Engage, then press your hands down, lift the other knee up. Should be effortless here, and then we lower. And then curl the pelvis, lift the abdominal, and then lift the knee up. And lower. Again, two more, exhale, lift the knee up. And beautiful work everybody, wow, strong. And then lift the knee up. And we bring it down. We take that foot back in. We're gonna draw that TVA again. We're going to extend the other leg with minimal weight transfer. Tuck the toes under. Send the pelvis to your heels. Lift that pubic bone to your heart. We breathe that, press the hands down, and we float the other knee off. And we lower. Again, shoulder over your wrist. We float the knee up as we breathe that. And we lower. Give me two more of this. And exhale, lift, float. And we lower. Last one, lift, float. Beautiful, everybody. And we lower and we bring the knee in. Gorgeous. Now from here, extend the leg away from me as well. Again, now I want you to pivot. Rotate, actually, can I, can I start again, bring it in? I need to do the other leg so you can see what's happening. Can we extend the leg closer to me behind you? Now we're gonna pivot on the knee joint. We're gonna rotate your body to me and take the opposite hand off. Not the opposite, the same side arm off. And then we're gonna pivot back and we place it down. That's it and bring the leg in. Let's go to the other side. So I've got my left leg out here. I'm gonna pivot on my right knee. I'm gonna take my left arm off. I'm gonna, you're gonna rotate away from me. Beautiful to that side kick position, kneeling side kick, gorgeous. And we're gonna bring yourself back again. I'm gonna pivot back, place your hand, and then bring the knee in. Again, extend the knee, extend the leg, opposite leg. We're gonna pivot on the knee, and I'm gonna take the hand and we're gonna stay there. Now from here, lift the leg up, and we'll lower. Pressing away, lift the leg, and we'll lower. And lift, and we'll lower. Three more, lift, and we'll lower. Two more, lift, we'll lower. The last one, lift, we'll lower. We're going to pivot, rotate back, Bring the leg back in, gorgeous. Other leg, please. Slide the leg away. And we're gonna pivot through the knee and we're gonna rotate away from me. Just listen to my voice. From here, we lift the leg up. And we lower, press the earth away. We lift 
and lower. Press the earth away, lift. Beautiful, everybody, thank you. And we'll lift, we'll lower. Give me three more lift, we'll lower. And two more lift, we'll lower. And last one lift, we'll lower. We're gonna rotate back, pivot through the knee, bring the hand and the leg in, beautiful. And then bring ourselves back or down to the floor. Now place the hands underneath your forehead, right? So one hand on stack on top of the other. And then just from here, glide the shoulder blades down. Pick up the abdominal for me, please. And I want you to just float the head slightly off the floor so your middle back is engaged. And the legs are reaching away from your pelvis. Now I want you to lift both legs off the floor, keeping that middle back nice and active here. And we lift the right leg and lower. We lift the leg blade. The legs are still off the floor and the right and lower and the left and lower and the right lower and the left lower and we do a little swimming leg we're going to in breath for five keeping the middle back active exhale now as you kick the legs away i want you to feel the legs reaching out from your pelvis so it's almost like gonna pull your pelvis away from your, the rest of the spine. But at the same time, you're gonna counteract it with the abdominal. So in breath. So make the movement nice and easy for the hip. Exhale. In breath, your middle back's nice and active here. Exhale. Now I want you to hold that middle back and effortlessly open the arms up to a T position. Palms facing forward. Continue kicking with the legs as we in breath. And exhale, neck is long, in breath. Yes, everybody, exhale. Two more, in breath. And exhale, last one, in breath. And exhale, reaching the legs, reaching the arms out, pulling them away from your center. We hold the legs together and we bend the elbows. We bring the forearm down, we lower the legs down and lower the head down, in breath into a little baby swan and lifting the back. Get the most ex extension in the middle back here. Now, if you wish, and if you can, press the earth away, lift the spine a little bit higher to wherever your spine can do today. Gorgeous. Send the elbows back, resist the spine and take yourself all the way down to the floor. Again, we inhale as we glide the shoulder blades down. We lift the chest forward to your maximum extension from your middle back. Then only we use the abdominal and press the arms away. Nice and tall. The legs are still reaching away from your pelvis here. And send the elbows down. We take our body down to the floor. Give me one more of this, everybody. Reach the leg away from your pelvis and we lengthen the spine away from the pelvis forward and up. And then we press out, press out, press tall, lift tall, beautiful. And resist downwards, send the elbows, but keep lengthening up as we come down. And down, and down, and lower. Now from here, pull the belly in, press up, round the back, and get yourself to a rest position. Thank you. We inhale, lengthening spine and sending the pelvis down to the heels nice and heavy to the pelvis and nice and active through the arms one more in breath and exhale now i want you to tuck your toes under here and then lift the pelvis up to your little upstretch position it's a little pyramid here exactly now i want you to feel your hands i like your feet so root your hands, your fingers down to the mat and lifting the arch of your palm up through your arms, through that shoulder girdle, to the middle back, and then lengthening the pelvis as you energize the lift from the arms into your spine, into your pelvis, and then send the heels down for a nice little stretch to the back of the leg here. So you're strong through your hands, you're strong through your arms, you're strong through your spine, and you're grounded through your feet, but you're lifting out of the feet to your pelvis, through your legs. 
We in breath, the neck is long. Exhale, drawing that corset muscle a little bit deeper. One more in breath. Exhale, dome your hands, you lift the spine a little bit more. And then walk your feet forward to your hands. Doesn't matter how many steps, just walk them forward. And I want you to just soften the knees and let the body rest onto your thigh. Allow the gravity to do its work of lengthening the neck down, allowing the arms to dangle down, of just sort of letting the body weight with the gravity. We inhale here. I want you to exhale to start rolling the spine down as we ground the feet and we lift the arch. We find the energy through the legs and we roll the spine up. And we stack the lower spine on top of the pelvis, the middle spine, and then the upper back. And then allowing the arms to dangle down as the head and the neck float away. Take an in breath here, everybody. And exhale, we roll down again from the tip of the head and the middle back and a roll back. And the pelvis tip forward. A little deep flexion through the hip joint, softening through the knees. And perhaps you can let the body to rest down on your thighs. In breath, spread your toes down to lift the arch of your feet and allow the energy to drive up through your legs and the pelvic floor and curl the spine up, 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 up. And we grow tall, we taller and taller. We take the arms up to the sky as we in breath. Fill up your lungs. We exhale. We take the arms down. Maybe a little knee bend here. Two more. Inhale. Expanding the ribs. Opening the rib cage as you take the arms up. Reaching up. Exhale. We take the arms down as we ground ourselves down. One more time here. In breath. Exhale. And we straighten the legs. And we just bring the hands and the palm, and the palms of your hands together in front of your chest here. Now I want you to just stay in a moment. Inhaling through the nose as you allow your lungs to expand as much as they can. Exhaling through the mouth. And while you are in this quiet moment, listening to your breath, finding the sense of easiness through your body, connecting your head and your body together in harmony. I want you to give thanks, sending yourself gratitude to your body and to yourself for being present for being healthy, for being in a moment, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, one more, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth, and let it all go, and open your eyes. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.